Shalom brothers and sisters. Don't worry, I am driving very slowly. I'm actually in the Kruger Park. God's got me just spending some time with him in the bush today and uh, I'll be making videos from here today. But I wanted to start with just how amazing the Lord is. Um, so I stopped quickly to put in, you guys would say putting in some gas. I put some gas in and uh, when I was there, the guy who was assisting us, because in Africa they put it in for you, and his name is Stephen. So I said to Stephen, just felt prompted, and I said, Stephen, do you know your name is in the Bible? And I started sharing with him about Stephen from the Bible. And you could see he went from having a really bad day to shock, you know, wide eyes. And I started sharing with him about Jesus, and I said to him, are you a believer? Do you know Jesus Christ? And he said, he is a believer. You know, it's like he's just looking for someone else who is the same as him. And so I shared with him and encouraged him about the exciting fact that Jesus is coming soon. And I'm wearing my get ready, Jesus is coming soon new shirt. And uh, it just really encouraged him and lifted him up. And he was smiling and radiant by the time I left, which was amazing. And it's, it's a God moment for Stephen, right? God sees where you're at in your life and he knows you might just need that bit of encouragement and he can send any one of you, a brother and sister, just a bit of kindness, openly showing that you're a believer and encouraging and lifting that person up. And that could be an answer to prayer. So having started like that, I came to the gate at the Kruger Park, got my entrance sorted and I stopped by the security checkpoint and they say, have you got any weapons? And I say, just the sword of the spirit my Bible, a little bit shocked, they check the vehicle and everything and they give me my papers back and as I'm driving through the gate, one of the traffic officials steps in front of me and stops me, says I must stop my vehicle and I thought okay that's weird, what's going on? So I stop, open my window and he comes to me and he reaches in through the car and he gives me his hand and I take his hand and uh, his name is Andres, so Andrew. And he says to me, uh, I love what I see on the side of your car, this message. And that was, of course, you, you know, you've triggered me as a pastor and off I go. So I start ministering to him about Jesus. We're talking about all these things. I'm uplifting him and just encouraging him. And he says, he just really needs some Bibles because he's busy dealing with these kids at this hostel that are away from their parents and everything and he's been sharing with them and they need Bibles. They've been asking for Bibles and I said to him, you've stopped the right guy. Give me a second. I pull off against the bush there on the side. I hop out and now I go to the boot, open up and I give him the Gospel of John, a thick pack of them for the children, explain how to use that for kids, why it's the best. I hand him a whole bunch of New King James Bibles, give those to him and some other media and things that he can use as well and again just encourage him as a brother in the Lord and he says to me like almost tearfully you know what this morning I prayed and I said Lord you know what I have need of with these children and everything and he I mean he's a traffic official but his heart is with this ministry to these children and he said Lord you know what I need and here he is in the middle of the Kruger Park by a gate far from anywhere where you could get any sort of tangible answer or anything. And God has sent me, this ministry that drives around with Bibles, to him at this gate to supply his need and give him encouragement. And, and he as well, almost tearfully, that he now has a new Bible. He's got Bibles for the children. He's got excess things that he can do and he's just seen God's hand answer prayer and I can explain to him how Jesus is with us even when we don't see him and he hears everything and he knows what you have need of before you ask and he's already worked on a plan to help you in your situation within his will. So I hope that blesses you. Um, that, that's how my day is starting. God is amazing. He's always working. He's in the field. And I am honored to be laboring with him in the field. And all of you supporting this ministry, enabling me to buy Bibles and get them to people and do these things, you are laboring with me, with Jesus, in the field. 
and all of you praying for this ministry, you are laboring with me in this field. So God bless you all.